Good morning! Welcome to the in-person World Finals 2021 Odyssey of the Mind Tournament. This is Superhero Socks, a cliffhanger beginning, Division 3. This team has worked very hard to be able to present their performance, therefore we ask for your undivided attention. That includes turning off all cell phones, beepers, pagers, anything that could make noise and disrupt the performance. Before you leave, look around you. Anything you brought in with you, bring it back out with you as well. In the case of an unexpected alarm, you've got fire exits around the perimeter of the room. Try and leave in an orderly fashion. This team does use a strobe light in their performance, so if anybody can't be in here for a strobe light, now's your opportunity to leave. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the team does permit the use of flash photography, and video recording will be permitted. So now I am proud to present to you the team from Kiwanis Club of Naples from Naples, Florida. <laughs> Judges, are you ready? Sign to us. Team, are you ready? This is a story that Tumblr wouldn't allow. <laughs> It's not just good, it's, it's good, good enough. enough. This team has 37 years of Odyssey experience all put together. And unfortunately, this will be our last ever performance under this membership name. We'd like to thank the audience for sharing this special moment and this final performance with us. So if you love Odyssey, make some noise! Attention, not that I needed it or anything. We can discuss what we came here to discuss. This doesn't seem like much of a discussion. More like you hung me from a cliff. Eh, the past is the past. It's literally happening right now. You don't know what you're talking about. Now, can we get back to the discussion at hand? I'd really rather not go out with you. But I have so many redeeming qualities. For example, I always correct women's grammar so that they know how to talk good. I think you would talk well. Look, you seem really persistent, but I just don't think we're right for each other. Fine. Then until you agree to date me, you can just hang around here. In the meantime, I'm going to learn everything that there is to know about wooing females, so that even if you don't say yes, I don't know how to make you. Wait, you can't just leave me here, and he's gone. Wait, what are these? Socks? I'm not the first girl he's done this to? These were left here by the last person. That's it. I have to get out of here and make sure he never does this again. Twenty years later! After two decades of studying love and loveology, I've returned to the desert to see the woman of my dreams. I thought I found the plane of my dreams once. Turns out it was just a fake ficus from the hose gardening store. <laughs> Not you again. Here to hang me from another cliff. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Dr. Love, PhD. I was taught in an Ivy League school. Perhaps you've heard of it, Cornell. I host a love podcast called Dr. Love's Love Podcast for Doctoring Love, featuring your host, Dr. Love, Love Doctor. Everyone comes to me for relationship advice, so it's high time I got a relationship of my own. You and all six of your eyes should look somewhere else. I've returned to win you over. You hung me from a cliff. Who does that? I'm asking, who does that? <laughs> Since you're singing rejection, I learned everything there is to know about love. I even started a podcast called Dr. Love's Love Podcast can for Doctoring Can you shut your eye holes? I'm trying to sort all my plastic flamingos by color but they all look the same. <laughs> After you have left me and who knows how many other girls hanging, I am never going out with you. Rejected again? That's impossible! What did you expect? You're the root of all my problems. Ever since that day, I've been terrified of heights and I haven't let my guard down since. Fine, if you insist on playing hard to get, I challenge you to a competition consisting of three challenges. If I win, you have to go on a date with me. If you win, I'll leave you alone forever. You can't be trusted. Demand a neutral location and an impartial judge. Here you go. She's a solid three, but I guess looks don't really matter when you're a judge. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, if you do this, you have to do this right. Weren't you dropped to new nurseries a seed? Yep, got a little shaken, not stirred, James Fraud style. Parents, don't drop your children. The more you grow. <laughs> Good Gord, the voices are back. Long time no see, everybody. What are y'all doing on my Sam? No, Daddy, let us. Hey, you two, and join our game of Cactus Dodgeball. Ooh, Daddy, can you be on my team? Hey, Carly. Finally, someone here has taste. Well, all right, my little honeysuckle, but if he tries anything, he won't be photosynthesizing no more. I just quit photosynthesizing, and now I'm free. I finally stopped soiling my bed at night. Go! I'm going to kick your grass, boy, boy. Oh! I'll 
I'll show him a scene of rejection. I'll use my super socks to blossom and attract beasts to stink Dr. Glove. I'm not going to lose to him now. <laughs> ah, Dave! Shit, tacky mushrooms! I'm <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> stink Dr. Glove. Hooray, I'm grass on a cracker. I'm being pollinated by somebody that ain't my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Love clearly doesn't understand the difference between hitting a woman and hitting on a woman. What? I've never hit a woman. You literally just hit me with a cactus dodgeball. Regardless, I've won. Now you have to go out with me. You haven't won yet. That was only the first challenge. This is problem five. Everything happens in three. Just because it wasn't the problem doesn't mean we wouldn't include it. <laughs> It's time for our rap battle. Pothead, give me a beat. No, not that kind of beat. <laughs> the whole plan kingdom wants to get in on this. All I'm asking for is one little kiss. After 20 years without you, my life is a pit, and all I want to do is see your own um, petals. <laughs> My eyes are so pretty, my stem is so long, and me and Ian Beanie are horribly wrong. Don't know how to add to! just said yes 20 years ago, I wouldn't have to deal with this embarrassment. What's embarrassing is that your dad went to the store for pesticides and never came back. How did you know? No matter. I will win the last challenge with my superior intellect. It's time for our love trivia contest, our final competition to decide who gets their way. That is clearly biased in your favor. A true man doesn't rig his competitions to win a girl over. A true man doesn't hang girls from cliffs either. <laughs> what? Just because I'm higher than an airplane doesn't mean I'm not a feminist. <laughs> Welcome to your third challenge with your host, Mr. Trees. Question one, what is Dr. Love's podcast name? The Love Podcast? No, it's Dr. Love's Love Podcast for Dr. Love, featuring your host, Dr. Love, Love Doctor. Correct, Dr. Love gets the point. Don't worry, Flora, I'm rooting for you. It's just like what Papa Pothead used to tell me. You might be disappointing 99% of the world, but at least you're still doing better than a fruit. Question, <laughs> question two. Finish the popular quote. Roses are red, violets are blue. Why won't you date me? What do I have to do? Roses are red, violets are actually purple. If you can't see that, your eyes are useless. Flora is correct. This next question is winner takes all. What is your best botany joke? What's a teenage plant's favorite website? Cornhub! Tree <laughs> Truly formative experience, one that I simply must discuss on Dr. Love's Love Podcast. Stop it! We're all 